Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, somebody asked me to talk about what exactly is the Windows app. So we talked about it uh, a little bit. Uh, we, we didn't talk about it, but it's been talked about actually a little bit this week uh, with the Ignite 2023 conference going on. Microsoft has shown a lot of new features, not a lot of new um, uh, software and hardware uh, information, including a .NET 8 coming out. Uh, but what gets a lot of attention is the Windows app, which this is a representation here. And the Windows app uh, is interesting because it's kind of a front end. Basically, this is what you use to connect to a Windows Cloud service. We talked about Windows Cloud, and we haven't seen a lot of it happen yet, but this definitely is a step forward. It's an app that will be available first for iOS, so iPads, iPhones, uh, for Windows, of course, for Mac, and we expect to have it available probably for every platform at some point. Uh, actually, the demonstrations of it uh, that they've been showing was on Android, and they didn't talk about Android yet. But that means it's probably going to come to Android. And I wouldn't even be surprised that there's a, um, a Windows app available for Linux at some point. And this would be the front end, and this would be where you connect to a cloud PC. So any device that you have would be capable of connecting to a cloud PC and becoming a Windows machine, but it'd be virtual in the cloud. So it wouldn't take a lot of power. It just requires you for to stream for uh, you know the screen, the desktop, and the things that you're doing. Just a good internet connection. It's probably all that really is required, and you would be able to use that as a PC like you do at home. Uh, and go back to your session of your cloud PC when you want and have you know cloud files and everything there. Uh, install the software you need to actually use it in the cloud. Um, and that would not require you to own a expensive computer. Uh, even better is that if you're using you know powerful apps, well, you don't need to really you know dish out a lot of money to get a powerful PC that costs more. You now all do it in the cloud, and it's um, there that's all going to happen. Now, the question of this is, okay, well, this means we're getting close to just Windows PCs in the cloud and uh, subscription and not so fast. First of all, this is clearly, and they have mentioned it so many times, business-oriented for now. So they want business to use cloud PCs. They want business basically to have, you know, basic devices that don't cost much instead of having to dish out a lot of money for PCs that are powerful enough to run the latest generation Windows um, and just pay a monthly or yearly fee to use cloud PCs. Of course, that's really good for Microsoft. It's a lot more money coming in. Now, for the consumer, I think this is a first step where at some point Windows 365 for consumers will exist. I think there will be a Windows 365 subscription, but I don't think that means that Windows desktop, Windows installed app or, or OS on a PC goes away at all. There will always be a place for a Windows uh, operating system that you have to install on a local machine on your computer to do things. Uh, because cloud PCs don't do everything. There are a lot of things that you cannot do. You won't be able to plug in, you know, say, uh, specialized devices that need to work through a USB port and so on. That's going to be complicated to do. So, you know, a desktop version will still exist where you pay a one-time license and you use it um, and that it's updated from time to time. But it will have, I think, a component for home users at some point that if you don't want to have an expensive PC, maybe you got a, an iPad Pro or you know one, a big tablet piece uh, like with Android, well, um, 
you might want to use a, a Windows, some Windows apps and, and have a Windows compatibility, you will be able to just not purchase a PC and just use it on your tablet. Um, you know, add a wireless keyboard to that and, and you're, you're on a PC. It's just that it's in the cloud. So I think there will be a future for home users of this. Um, like I said, it's not going to replace the, you know, desktop install of a Windows operating system. But it definitely, definitely is an interesting uh, future for Windows. And this, I think, is the start of all of that. Um, I think this Windows app, as it's going to be installed on, on devices, will uh, open up, you know, a new way of connecting to um, a Windows PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.